How y'all doing? TGIF, thank God it's Friday. Well, y'all might be able to hear a little bit of rain up on the roof up there. It's still raining down here in South Texas. Looks like it's going to soak us all day. Sort of like that crap coming out of Washington every day. It just kind of rains down on us and we have to deal with it. So stay in the news. You know the job report came out. Yeah, it looked good. That's good. And you know he's going to be all giddy about that and all happy and he's going to go around patting himself on the back telling y'all just how great he is. But now wasn't that the same guy during the campaign that told us that all those numbers were just made up and fake and you can't trust the government for all those numbers? Ha! Huh. Can we say hypocrite? Like we ain't heard this stuff before. That's what I try to tell you Republicans is y'all getting that crap smeared all over you every time he makes a fool out of himself. And he's going to do it today. You know he is. I've seen where uh, Pruitt, there are the EPA guys in the news that, you know, denying climate change and all that, telling everybody that the CO2 is not the problem and that man is not affecting this, uh, this earth. What? He's an idiot. Another idiot put in there to do away with the same department that he's put in charge of. That's what he's going to do from now on is stand up and say, Oh, that you can't believe that scientist shit. Believe me. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're going to do that. You jerk. You're just there to destroy everything in that department. That's why he put you in there, and that's why the oil and gas industry is going to be tickled to death. Oklahoma ain't going to be too happy. I told y'all, y'all going to start shaking again and crap. He just, he don't get it. It's about, just like the health care. It's all profit. It's the money. Everything about the money. Lord have mercy. i seen where they put Time Magazine's coming out. Got Trump going to be leaning on the Washington Monument. Tweeting. Because that's what he's known for. His little tweet shit. And I'm so... They got a picture of him. Wait till y'all see that on Time Magazine. Leaning up against her on what? His tie is... I'm about tired of looking at pictures of him with his tie pointing right out of his little tiny girl, man, wear, wear clothes like the rest of the men. Walking around with that thing dangling down there. You look ignorant. What are you doing? Trying to pick up little girls or stuff? You ass. I seen that guy that wrote that, uh, that dossier on Trump over in England, that guy, uh, Christopher Steele. Worked for MI6. Well, he's alive and well, Rachel Maddow. So, showed him on TV. They also said that the Congress is not that interested in talking to him. Hmm. Wonder why that is. Might know something. So we all know there's a dossier, and we know that man that wrote it, and we know he's alive. So eventually, you know something's going to come out, just like Rachel said. So we're just going to wait. Wait along with the rest of the shit storm that comes out. It'll it'll trickle down on us. We'll find out more. I seen uh, Shimkus. Yeah, I gotta look over there at my board to remember these guys' names. Shimkus, out of Illinois. He's the one that's talking about uh, why men shouldn't be, uh, you know, having to pay for prenatal care for women when they're pregnant. Yeah. He's probably one of them guys that think the only responsibility the guy's got is, well, you know, we do that little thing there and then get the hell out. Is that what your family values are? Uh, that just stinks, you idiot. Talking about tweeting out about abortions and Planned Parenthood. Because that's what they like to do. They like to scare all them Christians out there with them words. Oh, look here, Planned Parenthood, they're out there killing babies. That's ignorant shit and y'all shouldn't listen to him. Like I said the other day, you don't see him over there at the Israeli consulate over there talking about we're going to cut funds off to your butt because you're over there aborting babies left and right. You don't say that shit. No, that's just a political chess piece that they move on the board. Shuffle y'all's ass around, keep y'all informed about stuff that just upsets you. Like our side is all about killing back. You disgust me with that stuff. Y'all making a 
big thing about we're going to kill babies and all that shit. Do you think anybody wants that in their life? You're ignorant and you're hateful. Hateful people. That's what you are. Bring that crap up. There ain't no pencil on the news. No, I got some words for pence. You're a little weasel. I, the way I look at that man, is he's a dumbass. And he tells us all the time, I don't know anything. They didn't tell me nothing about that. Every story that comes out, oh, I don't know anything about that. And I told you all before, that's because the Republican Party is trying to keep him safe. So when they impeach Trump, well, maybe Mike Pence will just jump right up in there as president, and that's what they want. Steve Bannon's going to try to stop that from happening, of course, a little bit, because as long as Trump's in the seat, well, Bannon's in charge. And I don't think it'd be much different if Pence was in there. He's just a... Whew, man, he's an idiot. So like I say, either he's dumb and stupid or, he, or he's willfully lying to the people and telling them he don't know anything when he knows everything. And if you ask me, he ain't that stupid. I think he knows everything. He thinks we're stupid. That's pitiful. Well... I reckon I'll be upstairs with Mama for a while. We've got to dodge these holes in my roof in here. We've got to make sure we don't get my tools wet when it rains. Y'all take care. My blue dots, we're healthy as hell, and we're going to do good. We're, every day we're going to get more of these Republicans on board, I hope, because it's their party. It's their party that's going in the tubes. It's their party that is getting the crap smeared on them every day. Y'all think about that stuff, because we are, and we want his butt out, we're going to keep this stuff up every day, every day, until he's gone. And then you're going to see me dance a little jig in here on the floor, because I'll be just tickled to death when he's gone. So let's keep working to get him out, keep your nose in the news, know what's going on, try to stay in contact with your senators and your congressmen, little weasel. The more of them would stand up and say something, the better this country would be. But they all have their little political careers. You know, they got to watch that stuff. Don't want to rile up their constituents. But you better remember, there's a lot of constituents out here that are blue dots. And we're going to show up at your little meetings and we're going to challenge you on everything you do. Until you grow a set and stand up. And I hope they do that soon. All right, going to go watch some more TV with Mama. Wait for this rain to stop. Y'all take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye now.